What instantly makes you attracted to someone? Someone who's receptive. That playing hard to get stuff is annoying and a turn off. Show me that you're into me. I love that yes. I totally agree playing hard to get just pisses me off. If they like me. True though. I used to hook up with a girl I initially didn't think was very attractive or my type at all. One of her friends told me she was super into me, all of a sudden I'm like damn, got to get me some of that. It does make you look at people differently. I was going home after a messy night and this guy walking with us kissed me. All I remembered about him the next day was he was a great kisser and okish looking but not my type. We began texting after and he was keen to meet up and when I did he was more attractive to me because of his attention to me maybe? Been together months now. These days he's hot as frick to me lol. Six figures and a heart condition. Passion. Almost doesn't matter what it's about. When I hear someone get passionate about a hobby or cause, see the twinkle in their eye, I instantly want to be their friend and geek out with them. Same. It's infectious to share in someone else's excitement, especially if it's something I don't know much about. I've picked up many new interests this way. It's even better if they are just as genuinely interested in hearing about my hobbies, so you get that super excitable back and forth going. Confidence and sense of humor. The guy can be 50 pounds overweight or skinnier than me but if he has these traits there is a high probability that I will find them attractive. I have confidence. I have tons of humor. Much of my humor tends to be sarcastic and or self-deprecating though. Do you really have confidence if your humor is sarcastic and self-deprecating? Not impossible but sarcasm and self-deprecation are so often signs of insecurity masked with fake confidence. Freckles usually does it for me. Seeing your comment and the upvotes it has actually made me feel better about the freckles I have. Thank you. Catching my offbeat references. Smart. Funny. Quirky. Has to genuine, though. Nothing worse than someone trying to be quirky and unique in order to distract from their dearth of personality. Law. I'm so random, you mean you have no self-control. When they have greasy skin and lizard-like features. Edit, wow thanks for the upvotes guys and happy Halloween. And they own Facebook. Quite frankly, a cute and humble smile and possibly a hidden giggle but also a bit of a more sarcastic side with a real crap eating grin honestly. Crap eating grin. An arse eating grin works too. Eye color. Especially light brown eyes. A girl singing. A girl. When I was younger, intelligence used to be the biggest draw to me, regardless of appearance. But then I realized how frequently intelligence was paired with arrogance. I'm talking about someone who brags about their Mensa card, their IQ, who doesn't know when to stop talking about themselves, etc. Dart. Basically our I embarrassment. But the first time I met my now boyfriend, two years ago, I had my first instance of instant attraction. When we made eye contact and he smiled, I could have been knocked over with a feather. Now kindness is the top priority and I am lucky to be with someone who is not just incredibly kind but so incredibly intelligent as well, and without the arrogance. I am also amazed every day at how attractive he is. I don't mean to gush. I just love him so much. When girls make fun of me and or boss me around a little I love that. Get off her ass retard. Guys, you should grunt more or do some sexual breathings. I don't know, but chicks dig your voice when you call them in the morning. Guys, you should grunt more or do some sexual breathings. Usually when I do this I get asked to leave the store. Sir this is a Wendy's. Too much, but aside from appearance, intelligence, humor, and clumsiness. Eyes, a sexy look could be game changing. Snark. Like, if you can be so sarcastic it's almost infuriating. In a light-hearted sort of way, I'll probably be really into you. She must be a connoisseur of cheese and have extra long arms. If they're searching for their honor. So, Crown Prince Zuko? They are kind to animals. I firmly believe that all animals should be treated with love and kindness. While they may not be able to crunch hard numbers or write a sonnet, they do have souls, and deserve the same chance at happiness as we have. It is for that reason that I always pet a dog when I see one, and make sure my garden is welcoming for the native birds. 
Username does not check out. Maybe he does it gently. Nice. Round breasts. For me nothing is more of a turn on than someone with a very dark humor, and a good understanding of sarcasm. Someone that is quick and witty. Someone that says things I've yet to ever hear someone say. I'm married and I always fall deeply in love all over again with my wife when I see her work. She is a middle school orchestra teacher at a low income school. Those kids don't have much but they have her and she loves them. Also she a giant dork and I love it. Genuine individuality. If I can see that they are not trying to be anyone other than who they really are, it's incredibly endearing. Hey, you wanna see my Pokemon card collection? Honestly yeah. I had this huge crush on a guy and he collected Yu-Gi-Oh but I collect Pokemon and honestly it felt like a Romeo and Juliet moment every time we met at the library to teach each other our games. For a card game would play so sweetly if it went by any other name. XD. When they are Danny DeVito. Pheromones? I had this major crush on a guy a while ago and all I can remember is wanting to bottle up his scent and smell it forever. Although Cologne covered it up eventually. Kindness and wit. I was getting out of bed one morning while my fiancé was able to sleep a few hours longer. She was frustrated I couldn't stay behind with her so she asked me to leave my shirt behind for her to smell. Maturity. I met my wife when I was 20 and she was 21. On top of her good looks, what really attracted me was that fact that she had direction in her life and wasn't a typical college girl 10 years later, no regrets. Gotta agree with you there. When somebody seems to have all their crap together, knows where they're headed in life, what they want to do and are confident in getting themselves there I find it irresistible. Maybe because I so often find myself questioning where I'm headed in life it really inspires me and I soak up some of that determination by proxy. A weird laugh. If he is well spoken and articulate. Curiosity. That spark of what is this? I must find out more. Someone who isn't judgmental over something I'm trying to fix. I was one of those kids who took shot care of their teeth and I'm extremely self-conscious about it. I've been doing everything I can to fix them with my limited funds and resources but people still treat me like a disgusting pig despite living a very clean life. Nice. Taken care of hair. When I see a man with good hair that isn't too short or too long and it's all puffy and stuff I want to touch it and play with it. A smile most definitely. Second for me would have to be their personality and if they're a good person. This sounds like you're reading it off a card dude. I mean, who the hell doesn't like a good person? Nobody wants to be with a crappy person. A pulse generally does it but it's not a necessity. I've heard lots of stuff like being a family person or having a sense of humor. Maybe long legs or a big ass or something. Me? I'm a sucker for big words and jargon. Like seriously. If you just speak out loud enough for me to hear and say something like golly gee, that film really didn't do it for me, but the sound design was alright. I really like the usage of arpeggios in the second quarter but for the you can bet your sweet little tush that, despite the fact that I didn't understand a single word that came out of your mouth, I'm like 85% going to be like damn, that crap's cute. They try at life. I don't care if she's working at the 99 cent store. If she wakes up, bathes, gets dressed, make up. It's sexy knowing she's giving this wet rock of a planet a shot. Mysterious personality and good sense of humor. If they read for fun. I once ended a date early because I brought him home and, after looking around at all of my bookshelves, he told me he never read because he felt like it was a waste of time. Confidence. Like legitimate, deep confidence. Nothing sexier. Had a date last night with a woman who could confidently speak about her life and was not abashed about anything. Turned me on immensely. If they can talk for 10 minutes straight about something they are passionate about, then stop all of a sudden and stare at me like what have I done. Then I proceed to do the same. Repeat until mutual understanding. Directness. I will explain. Directness is attractive, even if I am not interested. I openly ignore the subtle woman style of flirting that try to catch my eye and beat around the bush when I am trying to enjoy a night out and have fun. So in my mind I am thinking okay, she's boring and wants me to do all the work, how to pickle. 
so I keep having fun my way which can include them or not if they decide to be more direct as they get to know me while I am doing my own thing it's fine. The reason is because I have always wanted a woman that is willing to show me that they are really into me and want me enough to put themselves out there, putting focus on us instead of just them. Some background, I'm tall and on the big side with some muscle, but definitely fat. I have never been the type to pander to anyone, but mostly just try to enjoy what I am doing at the time in my own way and somehow it attracts positive attention from a lot of people. I am a firm believer in emotional equality in relationships, not one-sided ones where one person is basically begging the other for attention with compliments. I've been told that it's refreshing that I was not fawning over someone because everyone did that to them because of their looks, and said it was the reason they were direct in wanting me. Most of the women I've dated and fooled around with are 7 stroke 10 or up in looks, and a lot of the time the relationship stopped because they wanted to be treated like an object of affection again. I don't put people on pedestals, and always let them go because I never wanted to be held for ransom to be a toy for her to play with. Side note, I am married now to an amazing woman because of this and have two wonderful kids. Trying to be more direct lately has led me to believe that many guys confuse it with either being desperate or a slut. I just don't like wasting my time on dumb games. Asking you on a date doesn't mean we should get in a relationship, or frick. It means I want to know you more, maybe have a fun day and see where it goes. That's all. Calm down, FFS. Reciting the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. A similar sense of humor. I was casually getting to know a girl over a dating app around Thanksgiving and mentioned that I'm in a gym contract that I want to get out of. Her response, just burn the place down. There was no build up to that comment. That's my sense of humor. She since told me I look like someone who likes Nickelback and that's such a hilarious burn that I wasn't even mad that it was directed at me. We're dating now. Honestly someone's mindset. If people are optimistic and positive I am immediately attracted to it. Versus if someone's being a negative Nancy I don't even want to be around that type of energy. For real. Great smile and amp teeth. If they love music video games as much as I do. Not that hard to find somebody else with a love of music, but damn it's hard to find people who fuck with video games heavy, 